The real new year. It's not now. This is an article from the SuccessfulGardenDesign.com blog by Rachel Matthews. There are some good things about getting older. Not doing what one is supposed to is by far my favourite. So I don't celebrate New Year's Eve, because I don't want to. There's nothing new about it. For me, it's never made sense to have a new year begin in the middle of winter, or summer for those in the Southern Hemisphere. I refuse to celebrate an arbitrary date change in the same way I stubbornly refuse to put my clocks back just because someone has decided we should. It does not get dark at 4.30pm in my world. Being properly in tune with the natural cycles is important. The more disconnected from nature our species becomes, the more insane our world becomes. The real new year. A new year for me is spring, when things really are new. New leaves, flowers and shoots show us when the real new year has begun. The Earth's energies in winter are quiet and restful, and I feel it too, with every fibre of my being. If it wasn't for the dog, I doubt I'd leave the house at all. And even if you're in the southern hemisphere, the middle of the summer with intense heat is also a time of rest. Don't do New Year's resolutions now. Now is not the time to start flogging yourself with an intense new fitness regime or whatever other New Year's resolutions a misaligned society has suckered you into. The energy isn't there for new anything. That's not to say one should do absolutely nothing. I'm spending my time reading and researching. I'm learning about the soil, herbalism, electroculture, to name but a few. This quiet, restorative time is precious, and I'm determined not to waste a single second of it. As the energy rises and we get closer to the real new year, I will start to get a little twitchy. And that's when I will put what I've learned into an action plan. I'll plan what I'm going to do at the allotments. I'm working on three this year. I'll create a planting plan for my garden, incorporating the herbal knowledge I'm in the process of acquiring. So when the real new year is here, which is the spring equinox for me, I will be ready for action. And with hopefully no house moving to contend with, everything will be done at the right time, unlike last year. Planning is the real key to success. Having an overall plan view enables you to see where your ideas are not working. Having a good plan will save you time, money and the heartache of getting it wrong, which I've witnessed hundreds if not thousands of times. So liberate yourself from the collective unconsciousness and use this time wisely, learning and planning instead of doing. If you'd like to learn a quick and easy system to plan your garden, then take a look at the online garden design courses I offer over at SuccessfulGardenDesigner.com. They are the fast track to successful garden planning. Or if you'd like a sample of the simple system I teach, then choose a free garden design web class at the same web address, SuccessfulGardenDesigner.com, and just click on the word free in the top right menu. But anyway, whenever you choose for this year to be new, I hope that it is as good as it can possibly be for you. All the best, Rachel. P.S. For those wondering when I do my New Year's resolutions, they seem to naturally start of their own accord after the autumn equinox. Every October, without fail, I either find myself making big life changes or going on a health kick of some description. Perhaps I should move to the Southern Hemisphere where it would be springtime and make more sense. P.P.S. I'm sure our ancestors had a better grasp of when the new year really starts. The clues are in the month names for those of you who speak Latin-based languages. Sept should be month seven. Oct, eight, nov, nine, etc. Seems we've all been fooled into thinking January starts the year. Mind you, what haven't we been fooled into believing in this bizarre realm in which we reside? Mm.